I'm Gary Harper on your side, and I have some updates on a couple of on your side stories that were supposed to be resolved by now, but as you're about to see, they are not, and these viewers are not happy. When you open the window, the screen is supposed to automatically go with the window. Yes. But it's not. It obviously is just kind of stuck here. Correct. Jack Martin is beyond frustrated. Way back in March, yes, six months ago, Jack went to Lowe's and paid $20,000 for new Pella windows to be installed. Now, the good news, the windows finally arrived and were recently put in. But Jack wants you to see what he got for his money. Oh, man. I, you can't open that. Blah. Not only do his new windows open and close incorrectly, but the hardware doesn't match. The locking mechanism on the left is clearly different from the one on the right, and when they do match, the windows don't even lock. That doesn't make you feel very safe, not at all. So, On Your Side got involved, and we contacted both Lowe's and Pella Windows. In an email, a Lowe's spokesperson told On Your Side, I will get this information sent over to our customer relations team to help resolve this matter and follow up with you once I have an update. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Well, I do have questions. After two long weeks, why haven't Jack's windows been replaced? Sure, Lowe's has been in contact with Jack, but no firm installation date for new windows have been made. But it does not lock. As for Pella Windows, their PR team wrote me saying, thank you for reaching out and bringing this issue to our attention. We have reached out to Pella and their team to look into the issue and to learn more. As soon as we hear back with information, We'll connect with you. Well, On Your Side has not heard back from Pella as well, but they have made contact with Jack, promising that they're working on a resolution. Still, as of now, Jack is still stuck with those faulty windows. In another On Your Side report, we told you about Rocio Francis, who bought and paid for a picture of her father to be placed on his headstone. The original photo broke off, so Rocio paid Rest Haven Cemetery to install another one. But after two long years, a new picture never has been installed, and after complaining several times, Rocio finally discovered this cheap makeshift photo that she believes was just supposed to simply appease her. Not this. This is not okay. Look it. That is not correct. Look at how big of a size difference that is. That is not the right size. They glued this half-ass. That's not okay. We aired Rocio's story back in August, and Rust Haven assured on your side that a proper photo would be placed within two weeks. Well, six weeks later, it's still not there. This is after two years. They still couldn't get it right. Okay, on your side, we'll stay in contact with the cemetery to make sure that that viewer gets what she paid for. As far as the other story regarding the window fiasco, We'll stay on top of that one as well. That viewer tells on your side that if he doesn't get those windows soon, he will be suing Lowe's for breach of contract. You can bet on your side, we'll stay on top of that story. Gary Harper, 